Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stacy, and I make videos on fashion, styling, and shopping. And today's video is going to be a massive shoe haul. I know I always do massive shoe hauls. <laughs> And this is no exception. Now, this is stuff that I've been getting over the past several months. I just have not shown you guys. Um, I haven't really made a ton of videos lately. I've just been really busy because I am in the process of relocating to the D.C. area. And, and I started a new job. So trying to get acclimated with that and then trying to like get all my stuff packed and ready to go and figuring out what I'm taking, what I'm not taking. It's just taking up a, a ton of my time. And um, because I am leaving, you know, there are people that do want to get together and like, you know, see me one last time. So my social calendar has definitely picked up over the past few weeks. So it's just really been difficult or hard to film. But some of these things I've had for months, like literally had for months. So let's get into that. But before we do, um, this outfit, it's just a two-piece set from l and And I realized too after I ordered it that... I think for some reason I wasn't supposed to be ordering from from the hair, but I didn't remember the reason why. <laughs> I don't remember why. And maybe it's not right. I don't know. I have to go back into the mental roll decks. I cannot for the life of me remember what it is. Um, because someone was in my inbox too about another brand. Not them, but I think someone told me about L and M, but I don't remember why why I wasn't supposed to be shopping the L&M. But anyway, if you told me that, put, leave it in the comments section, but that's what it says. From it's a two-piece set, it's short, and it's a little cardigan set. I like it, I thought it was really cute, and I think I bought this because I saw it on um, Janae from Hyla Lux. But anyway, let's get into the unboxings. So, as you can see, I mean, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you should be here. I have boxes here, here, there, and there. It's a lot. Um, I'm going to start off with the things I've gotten probably first that you guys haven't seen. And so let's move over to a pair of Chloe shoes. I bought this at the start of the like Essence sale. And if you guys don't know Essence, that's S-S-E-N-S-E. -S -E. Um, they have like a, a sale that they do probably a few times a year. And they'll put a lot of like luxury items on sale. Like with the Essence sale, I get access to, I guess, certain price points or certain prices that the average consumer doesn't get. Probably because I spent a certain amount of money within the calendar year with them because I've always gotten access to their sales. And it lasts a couple of months because I think this one just ended this past weekend. And I bought these shoes at the beginning of the sale, which is several months ago. Um, so... Anyway, these are from Chloe. Now, I will say this about Essence, and this is S-S-E-N-S-E. -S -E. Their boxes always come trash. I mean, that's the one thing about them. I would only really shop with them if I just can't find something on another site or if it happens to be cheaper, which the vast majority of everything that I've bought from them has always been on sale because they just don't pack it. You don't really get the experience. Like if, like if I was buying this from like the actual Chloe site, uh, or even like Farfetch or My Teresa or um, even Netaporter. I feel like with those particular sites, you do still get like a certain experience. Um, even if you're not like in stores, it comes packaged really nicely. I mean, it's just it's just a nice feeling. Here, it's like the boxes are always damaged. I mean, it is what it is. But I did get these for like about 50% off. I don't remember how much they were, but it was a significant discount. So I am really into loafers. Um, loafers are going to be all over the place. I mean, loafers were a really big trend last year. Loafers are never really out anyway, but right now they're trending. You know, I talked about that the last time in my in my last video. If you have not seen my last video, please check it out. I'll, if I remember to um, link it above, I will. But, you know, loafers are going to always be in. However, they are trending significantly now because people have figured out newer ways to like wear loafers like loafers with socks so it's just like a really like in it girl type thing two dust bags i want to do like an official official unboxing because a i've already unboxed these and two i have a lot of shoes to get to so i'm trying to make it quick but yeah so i saw these and i thought these were so cute look at these shoes like first of all like the gum bottom is insane look at that these are so like preppy and it also has like this little hardware piece that's like right here 
when I showed my mom this the other day, she was like, what is that? <laughs> but I think this does come off. I think it comes off. I don't, I, maybe it's just like a little tag thing. I'm just, no, I don't know if it comes off or not. I like it on here. But anyway, so leather, it's brown. Um, right now, you know, the trend is like getting a lot of black shoes. Um, and I do have some of those. So you'll see some of those um, later on in this video. But I like the fact that this was like a nice, like chocolatey brown, almost like a wine color. But I, I just, I love them. They're super comfortable. I mean, they're very well made. I mean, similar to like Gucci shoes, it's like their shoes are expensive, but you know you're getting what you pay for. This is no exception here. I mean, this is just a really, really cute shoe. So yeah, I think I paid around four something for them. And I think these shoes were close to a thousand dollars. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I cannot wait to wear this. And I also too, you know, I'm going to be in a cooler weather climate, which I am really excited about because I mean, I really get, that gives me the chance to really experiment with a lot of like fall and winter fashion, which is my favorite because I could do, honestly, if I never had summer, I'd be fine. Like I'm just not, unless I'm like on the beach or like going to a resort or whatever, I just really have no use for summer. It's just too hot. And I mean, why? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. That's the oldest thing I've gotten. Oh, let me show you these pair, um, this pair of shoes I bought from um new maryland's i got these from maybe Chan champion or finish line i'm not 100 percent sure but they're this new pair of new balance 327s i have um hauled a couple of pair of, uh, of 327s this is probably my favorite sneaker period um it's super comfortable i love how it has like um uh, these little grids on the outsole and then it also kind of goes up here um, on the back of the shoe. This is just a, a, essentially it's all over black um, with just a little off-white midsole gum bottom. I mean it's just a really clean clean look. I, I, I mean again I love the tonal laces here and this is probably my third. I think this is my third technically my fourth because when I sold on um, Poshmark because I got a one half size too small I am a seven and a half typically uh with New Balance shoes depending on like what I get I'm usually a seven but for whatever reason in here I'm a seven and a half I'm also a seven and a half in the 990 shoes as well so that's why I just went ahead and sold those because I didn't wear them because they were just a little bit too snug but this is a perfect fit so if you're a seven and a half um they're true to size Okay, so the next pair of shoes I bought, this was a collaboration uh, with Mason Margiela times Reebok. It comes in like a special box. This is not a Reebok box, but I don't have any Margiela shoes. So I don't know if their boxes are white or not. I have no clue. But um, something just about this shoe resonated with me. The first thing that resonated with me was the fact that it is a, um, a club C. I have several pairs of the Reebok Club C. They're both white. I have one in like the normal, like um, normal sole, and I have one with like the platform sole. I wear the platform soles a little bit more than I wear the other ones, but those are so comfortable. They're some of my favorite shoes. Um, it's only it's probably second to the New Balance 327 when it comes to like comfort and then style. They're just really easy to style. So when I saw these shoes, I was like, oh, this is interesting because I thought that it would give you a nice pop of color and you'll see what I'm talking about when I unbox them. So, <sighs> let it red shoe, like, or a triple red, whatever you want to call it. Is this not cute? Again, this is like more or less painted on. So where the other like normal like um, Reebok Club C you know, it just has like the overlays and so forth. This one is just essentially a picture of like the overlays. It's like a painted picture of the shoe. I thought this shoe was so cute. I cannot wait to wear. I tried it on. It is a perfect fit. I am a seven and a half in this particular shoe. I am a true seven and a half or a size 38 um, in Italian sizes. So for, for reference. And they still carry this shoe. They have it in like more of a white version. Or maybe it's off-white. I know they have it um, in this particular color. There might be a third colorway too. I've maybe black. I think it comes in three colors. But I just thought the red was cute. This is a nice, I honestly, 
a really, really nice pop to have for the fall season. So I, I love it. And then it has kind of like this little felt um, on the inside of the shoe here. I mean, again, super comfortable. Something that you're going to be able to style. I mean, this is going to be the start of whatever outfit that you decide to pair this with. So, and this was on sale too. I don't really remember how much it was, but I think it was around 30 or 40 percent off, which is what made me buy it. Um, yeah, a lot of people have been like running tons of sales. I think I got these from maybe Farfetch, if I'm not mistaken. It was either Farfetch or Shopbop. I think it was Farfetch. Okay, so anyway. My next pair of shoes, some of you have kind of spied it when I did like an IG story where I quickly showed them. And they are a pair of boots from Schultz. These boots are so cute. I love them. Okay, let's just go over. Let's just, let's look at the detail. The, look at, first of all, this heel here. It's kind of giving me a Mina Mawadi vibes, but not quite, but you know, it's just a very interesting heel. That's really what sold me on the shoe, the heel. Um, and then it just has like more of a pointy toe. It's a, it's a real leather, but it's a mock crop. And then the color way of this is insane. Like, I thought this was super cute. And I don't have any like pop like this um, in my boot collection at all. I know that like pops of color like this that's something that they say is really trending for for fall. I did not know that. <laughs> I just went ahead and bought the shoe because I like the shoe. I just think it's so cute. I mean, just, and I feel like it's such a neutral shoe. You really can, like, pop it with anything because it's almost like the color of, like, blue jeans. And so, you know, you can put any color with blue jeans. So I feel like this will really go with it, with everything. But I just thought this boot was so cute. This comes in several different colors. It comes in black. It comes in like a white, like full on. I think it comes in full on white and full on black leather. Not necessarily a crop, but it does. There are other like crop colorways as well. I may put those on the screen for you guys to peruse. But I just like this one because of the colorway. And I also liked it because of the heel. I just thought it was really, really cute. And this is a new silhouette for them this season. They do do like this version of the boot, but it had a different heel. They're called this like layered heel, I think. So that's what makes this different. And they had already sold out on this one on the website. Um, I bought these from Zappos because they weren't sold out there. But this colorway, it could be restocked now because again, a lot of times shuts, they will restock certain things. But I didn't want to wait and I just, I, just thought that was going to be the perfect addition to my boot collection. Okay, so going into the star of the show. Like, this is going to be, like, the star of... First of all, you guys know I bought that, that Colt Gaia. This is from Colt Gaia, by the way. Mavi Orange Box equals Colt Gaia. So you guys know that little like floating heel shoe that I have. Like I love that shoe. It's like a neutral and they had it also in black and maybe another colorway as well. But I love that shoe. So do you know I did that shoe in the boots? And, and here's the thing. Y'all go look at Fendi's fall collection. Fendi knocked off Colt Gaia <laughs> because... They have almost the exact same shoe. I mean, literally the upper is almost exactly the same way. They might have did a boot as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I know they did a sandal. I'm like, oh, Gaia has had that particular shoe since the beginning of the year. And that Fendi, that Fendi collection literally just launched like maybe a month ago. Um, they did like a big like blogger, you know, um, spread or whatever because I think I saw Scout the City. Um she did. I think she was working with Fendi. I mean so I mean come on guys like y'all know Colt Gaia had that shoe. Well they decided to go ahead and make it into a boot. So and I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to try these on earlier. Um I don't know if you guys are even gonna be able to see the beautifulness of this particular shoe. Look at that. This is a 
black suede thigh high thigh high boots when i tell you this is a beaut this is beautiful like i cannot now this was expensive this boot i'll put it on the screen because i don't even want to say that out loud because i can't believe i spent this much money on this shoe but it's black this is a basic shoe a it's a black suede so it's going to go with anything that i want to put it with you know it has a squirt i mean a um actually more it's a pointy toe but it has a little bit of a squirt off thing right here i mean it's very easy to walk in i know it seems like it would be cumbersome but it's actually really not my other ones are not hard to walk in either and the heels and is not that high so that arch is not going to be that high so really and truly i mean this is a beautiful shoe they had it in this particular color and like another print colorway i was not going to spend this kind of money on a print shoe that i can only wear with like a couple of things like i was like nope i'm going to go ahead and get it in the black because i can i will have this in my collection for a long time again called gaia does it again they really do like very interesting like unique pieces that you're not going to really find you know every place and i love it so probably my favorite purchase um of this particular haul okay so i have another pair of flowy shoes and these are more or less slippers i don't know what it is about this shoe and these are actually shoes you can wear outside because of the rubber sole. Just being able to kind of slip on to like do errands, especially on like a cold day when you really don't feel like fooling with some sneakers, you can kind of throw on a pair of socks and this and you'll still be like very cozy. I love how it has a, the leather upper and the shirling. It's, and it's shirling all the way on the inside here because sometimes um, it may have it here and it's not necessarily doesn't go up all the way um, of the length of the shoe but this one does it has the little branding on the side here I mean and this is a perfect fit this is a size 38 it's super comfortable it has like a little storyboard in leather on the inside here if you can see that so I really, really like this one a lot. I don't know. I just wanted something a little bit special for me. Uh, more of an elevated slipper. Something that you would probably would see. You know how people have like that, um, like the Ugg one. I just feel like Ugg is a little bit too, it's, you know, I'm a little bit too mature for Uggs. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I appreciate what it's doing, but I'm not going to walk around in any Uggs. Like, that's just, I'm, I'm way past that. And I was never really huge into Uggs anyway, but I feel like this is more of a sophisticated Ugg. So I, I like it a lot. So this is from Dior. Now, um, what you guys don't know is that I did sell my Hermes, the Orwan sandal. Because you know what, and you guys don't know it, but I had issues with that particular shoe. Initially, I got it in a size 38. Like, I am a 38 in everything. I am a true um, 7 and a half. And I bought them in the 38. And initially, I was like, when I first bought them, because it was like months and months ago, you know, my, my toes weren't done. So I was like, well, maybe, because they were a little bit short for my liking. But I was like, well, maybe, you know, it'll be... Once I get my toes done, you know, cut them toenails down, whatever, you know, maybe it'll fit better. Because sometimes that does make a difference because I have long toes anyway. Um, but that wasn't, you know, it didn't work out for me. So I was like, these shoes are really too short for me for my comfort level. So let me exchange them. And I did. I exchanged it for a 38.5. But, but in the 38 and the 38.5, there was too much space from like the top of my foot to like the top of um, the upper of the shoe. Like... I guess I just have really narrow feet. It was always a little bit too wide there. Not necessarily wide this way, but like, you know, from a, a north south, not east west. So I was like, I don't, uh, I wasn't really even reaching for them because, you know, they would like slip off and I have to be extra careful about it. So I was like, what am I doing? So I sell those bad boys back to fashion file. I sure did. So because I sell those, I bought something to replace them with because on the contrary um my dior d way sandals the ones i have in like the um the maroon colorway those are a perfect fit i like those they are very comfortable so i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and replace those 
with these. So I bought, and I've already worn these, but I bought um, the, um, in this, the newer one. I think this is a newer release one. I love how it has the animal print. It's like black and tan. So it just, it makes it a neutral. I'll be able to wear it with pretty much anything. And I would love the other ones. Like, honestly, I'll probably get another colorway um, next next um next summer because i like this sandal a lot like it's just it's very it's very easy to wear still get you a little bit of a flex here you know if you want to but at the same time it's not like over the top you know it's perfect for like anything dresses jeans whatever you name it so if you do not to me i would i would um actually recommend this one over the other one and i think this one's a little bit more updated anyway so you know i i like it a lot Okay, so you guys know I've been going low for crazy. And initially, I wanted to get like this version of Gucci loafers. Um, but I was like, I just don't think I can do it because I've already spent a ton of money on Gucci loafers. You know, I have the prints down with the fur. Um, I, I bought now another like full on loafer um, with the fur there with the red. And I also already have like the red uh, without. Um, the meal essentially like the um, the Prince Tom meal in red as well. So I have two red pairs. I have the black one with the fur. I also have a lot of other like Jordan shoes. Um, I have a couple of pairs that are in like a black print and ones in like a brown print. So I was like, I, I say I'm Gucci out. Not to mention I have a pair of uncomfortable like chunky heeled loafers with like the little um horse bit across the um the front of the shoe. That one is the one with the, I think, the B on the end, which I embroidered B. I love that shoe a lot. But when I tell you that shoe was uncomfortable, I need to, I guess, maybe continue to walk in, you know, in the house with socks. I think that may help to stretch it out. But it's uncomfortable. I'm really thinking about selling those shoes. So uh, I don't really have, like, a regular pair of, like, just at the time. Now I do. But I didn't have, like, a regular pair of just, like, black you know, pull on loafers. So I saw a pair that was on sale from Sandro. Um, I think these are from Farfetch. And I think I'm pretty much making this stuff from Farfetch because they've been having a lot of the sales or a lot of things have been on sale. And then I think I was able to get an additional discount on this particular shoe. Um, but yeah, so, I, so again, I did, there was a similar pair of Gucci ones that I wanted. I will try to insert a picture of that one. And, but again, I think that she was like close to a thousand or around between 800 to a thousand. And I was like, yeah, no, but this one I was able to get for like maybe 150 ish or whatever, even though it was like on sale. Cause I think this was like a $400 shoe, but I was able to get basically a similar shoe from Sandro. And I want to say I paid maybe 150, 175. So again, eight or 900, 175, like, <laughs> you know. So isn't it cute? So it has like the little SS, which I think is really cute. I love that little aspect um, on the hardware of the shoe. I mean, this shoe, it looks and feels like it was like $1,000. Like this shoe is great. And it's really on brand for like the, um, the Sandro uh, for the apparel anyway, because it's very like, you know, more preppy. And like, if you don't, not familiar with like Sandro, you know, it's like a lot. Actually, it's two sisters. Like, I think the Maj and Sandro brands, I want to say they're made by two sisters. Um, but yeah, and so they have like a lot of like cardigans and just like very preppy things. So this is actually very fitting sort of style with like that type of, that type of look. But I, I mean, just wonderful. wonderful. Look at the sole. Like, it is just really really nice so i just wanted a basic pair of loafers and this is something that i'm gonna have in my in my collection for like forever like i'll probably be wearing these when i'm 80 because they're never going out of style like they never are the hardware is kind of like more of a brush it's just cute so yeah so i scored these on farfetch i would try to link these so you guys can check them out if you're interested but yeah, and I actually have a haul coming where I do feature some Sandro pieces. Um, I got them from Sats. I'm going to do that um, with my clothing haul, which I will be filming this week as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're getting into the home stretch. And let's just say 
it's about to get ridiculous. Not necessarily with this particular purchase, but the other three, you guys are going to be like, yeah, you're doing way too much. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> It is what it is. But anyway, so I had a pair of like Vince Camuto shoes from Nordstrom's the other day. I actually went to the um to the Galleria and honestly I probably went to the Galleria maybe three times the entire summer. I don't like to go to the mall period to be honest with you, but I wanted to I went there for something else and I wanted to try them on because I didn't have I wanted to try try them on in person and so I saw these shoes and again this is gonna be a huge trend right now. Um, you guys are probably going to hate them. But these are from Vince Camuto. These are clogs, but they are, again, the Sherling clog. I, I don't know what to tell. I like them. First of all, I'm loving this. Like, I am all about all this Sherling and this fur, whatever. Like, I am into it. I just, I, I like it. And I, I'm really going overboard, too, because I'm going to D.C. So I just feel like, oh, I'm going to really have a chance to, like, really wear this, you know? Because in Texas, this is going to be a stretch in Texas. Because, again, we just don't get, it doesn't get that cold, you know what I'm saying? And Or if it does, it gets cold for, like, a few weeks, and then it'll be 90 degrees the next day. But, you know, I'm actually going to be in, like, a, a city with, like, seasons. Wear this, so I can wear this in the fall, and I can also wear this going into the winter, and also kind of leaving winter and going into spring. So I, don't, I just like it. So, again, it's more squared off here, more rounded square. And it's just a traditional, like, um, clog mule, but it's not super, like, exaggerated. It's, like, more of a cork here. It has a rubber sole here, so again, that's going to make it a lot more durable um, because of that little thin lining of the sole. You can see kind of how that is. Um, the inside is completely lined with the shirling here. Um, it's not up here. Up here is more of a microfiber in this area there, but like, but the bed of the the bed of the um, the shoe is all um, lined all the way to um, the length of the shoe. But yeah, I like this a lot. This is like a little over $100, I, I think. So I just thought they were really nice. And that was my way of participating in clogs. Because I'm just not really a big clog person. Although I will say that, I mean, these people have really inundated us with these clog images. I, it, it's wearing me down. Like, I already know it is because I used to hate them. And now I don't mind them so much. And now I've bought one. But you see the one that I bought, it needs to be something that was a little bit different. Because <laughs> I just knew that. <laughs> I'm just not going to buy a leather one. Like, I'm not. Now, I do have the one from um, J.W. Anderson. They are calling those clogs as well. But I just don't think that's a clog. I think that's a mule. But I can kind of see, you know, where the inspiration came from. I can say I can see it being clog inspired. But because it doesn't really have the heel on it, to me, it's not really quite the same. But they do have some cute ones. I think there's one on at Mango right now that's on sale. Because I think Mango has 30% off the entire site. And I think those particular shoes, and they were leather actually, was already on sale. So I'll try and link that to you if you guys are interested in the whole like mule thing. So probably would be my only venture into that whole thing, you know, until it blows over. Because I do not think that clogs are going to be something that we're going to be wearing come 2023 or 2022. I'm, I'm skipping a year. Good God. Anyway. Okay. So I went to the mall over the weekend and the trip was inspired because I wanted to try on a pair of Prada loafers. Now I've always wanted like the regular, like Prada, like loafers or black ones that everyone has. I mean, you know, they're good. They, that's why I bought the um, the Gucci ones because, and I probably shouldn't even bought those Gucci ones because they, they hurt. They really do hurt. I'm like, should I sell those or not? But anyway, I digress. So I went in there to try on a pair, but not the ones that y'all think, not the regular pairs with like the um, the regular like sole. I wanted to try like there was a Lux sole one and it has more of a like a pointier upper. And I've only seen one person with the shoe and I saw him unbox it. His name is Very Snatch. She has a channel um, on YouTube. I will link his information below. Check him out. I think his content is actually fire. Like, it is really... I'm surprised he didn't have more, more um, subscribers. But anyway, he's my boo. So, we were going back and forth, like, on the video. And I asked him, 
you know, was it, he told me it wasn't heavy at all because I was just kind of asking him some, you know, some, you know, questions about the shoe. So I was like, oh, you're making me really want to get it. And I think I had already bought like the white ones at that time. So I said, you know what, let me just go and see, you know, if the Prada store and the gallery has it. So I went to Prada and there's this girl that helped me out. So initially I told her that I wanted the um, deluxe so um, loafer, but then she brought me over to the Oxford with the look so and that's not what I asked for although that was also a consideration because I think those are dope as well so I asked her if she had them she says no they didn't have those she says but like Neiman's or Saks they did have a lot of like look so um product shoes I, so I should check one of those out so I said that's fine so I asked her if she had the regular loafers just the regular one that everyone has with like the regular sole and she says oh I just sold a 38 um to someone else um this morning so we don't have it anymore so i was like okay that's fine so i left there and that's it so i ended up buying the loafer um at sex now they didn't have the one that i wanted at all but they did end up having the regular one so i did go ahead and buy the regular black loafer you guys have seen this one these are very comfortable it's a little bit stiff up in here but i mean this will i know that'll loosen up a little bit but like the everything else about this shoe was very comfortable it was like night and day um with that gucci one i don't know why that gucci one was so was it's that i love those so much because it has like the gold hardware and it also has like the little gold embroidered here but and this one's you know has silver but i don't i don't really care about mixed metals anyway even though i do wear more gold but no love those you guys have seen these these are beautiful no issues there so they did have the oxford one because i was interested in just trying on the oxford version of the shoe with like the look so but they didn't have my size at size and i went to neiman's and neiman's didn't have hardly anything and nordstrom's did have um I know that they had them before, but I just think Nordstrom sold out. I, the whole product is selling out like crazy because they didn't have, hardly have anything in Neiman's, even though the guy told me there that they will be getting more in. I know when I went and I bought the white, the white um, meals at Nordstrom's, they did have a few of those shoes there. And when I went back on the, over the weekend, I didn't see any of those shoes there. Like I saw a couple of love like loafer shoes and that was it so they went through those as well and i knew online they had they were sold out of a lot of things as well i think they did have like the brown loafer but that was about it so i decided to go back to the product store because i was on my way out i said you know what let me just see if i can try on the um the oxford one with the look so so i'm really just into like that whole like oxford like really like high chunky Oxford look. I even went into um, the Doc Martens sh um, store because they have like a, a high version of like an Oxford shoe that I thought would be really cute. But they were out of sizes there too. I'm like, good God, like no one has any stock. And I know a lot of this has to do with production overseas and getting and things being very difficult. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you don't need it, then don't worry about it. But if you really do want things, I would not wait if you have the money to do it because I'm telling you right now, like and I was in the shoe industry for a long time before these new jobs. I already know when it comes to, especially shoes, you're going to have a hard time getting stuff, especially for like Christmas and things like that. So do not wait. If you see it in your size, don't think it's going to be there in like another month, maybe not even another week. Like things are selling like crazy. So, that, so that's just a tip for you guys. Um, this is going into the holiday season. And so I'm just letting you know right now. You know, as a retail expert, if you guys really want product and you and you know you're going to really want to have a lot of things under the tree or if you're looking for something, do not wait because things supply is scarce. So anyway, so I went back into the um, the product. So the security guy, he was like, oh, yeah, you're back. You're back. I was like, yeah, I'm back. He's like, well, do you remember who you were with? He said, did she have an accent? I said, yeah, but I didn't really remember. I mean, I was with her for like maybe three minutes. So I didn't know, but I know she did have an accent. So, but they couldn't find, they didn't, we couldn't really quite figure out who was helping me before. So then another lady helped me and she ended up being the story manager. So I asked her, I said, hey, you know, I want to try on that Oxford with the look. So, so she was like, oh, sure. So she walked me back there. So for some reason, we got on like the Prada loafer. And I was like, yeah, I ended up having to get that at sex since you guys are out of my size here. And she was like, 
what? I was like, yeah. I said, well, actually, I came in here looking for um, the Prada loafer with the Lux So, but you guys didn't have that. And she, at that point, she already knew that I was a size 38 because I asked her for the 38 in the Oxford shoe because that's what I came in there to try on. So she knew she had that. And she was like, we don't. And she said, well, first of all, we even have the one, because <laughs> it wasn't on display, but she said, we even have the one with the, the loafer with the look. So I said, what? In the size 38? She said, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have that one. She said, unless I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure we have it. And she said, but they said we didn't even have the regular one. She said, we were out, you know, at one point, but we've been getting regular replenishment on that one. So we, you know, we should definitely have a 38. She said, but let me check. We're not, I mean, I don't know what it was. And she was like, who was it? And like, <laughs> like she was like, she really wanted to know who told me we didn't have it. The one that, so she did check and they ended up having guys, the one that I initially went in there for, which is the loafer with the lug So the one that very snatched hat and a size 38. It's like, she knew that. She was like, it's on hold for somebody else, but it's yours. She's like, I'm going to go pull it. She said, it is the only one that we have, but she's like, but I knew we had it. And then she was like, let me just check for, for kicks and giggles if we have a 38 and the regular loafer. She said they had several. She was mad. When I tell you, she was mad. So we got to chit chat and talking, whatever. She gave me her card. She said, oh, yeah, my sister works for the one in Tyson's Corner, so I'm going to hook you up with that. And just, you know, and because she used to live, I think, in that area as well. Like, a lot of people that I met yesterday, actually, not yesterday, but in the mall, was like they had ties to like the DMV area and they were like oh I know so and so like my Gucci sales rep told me that he was gonna um that he was gonna um hook me up with um the Gucci rep in Tyson's because that was his friend so it's like everybody's just really been you know when I've been like oh I'm moving this that and the third so they've been really nice about it but she was super nice she gave me her card and everything and she was like yeah if you need anything you know let me know but because I ended up buying <laughs> both of the shoes <laughs> So guys, I have the regular ones. Wait. I don't even know which one this one is, to be honest with you. But so I walked out of that wall with three with three shoes. I had so many bags in my hand, guys. The security guy walked me to my car <laughs> to make sure that nobody tried to rob me. <laughs> And I didn't have any bags. It was literally just like some things. So I bought some things from Saks. I bought a few things from um, from Aritzia. So it wasn't like it was like a whole bunch of bags or anything. But I did have a lot. So yeah, I I I was I acted a a plum fool on. I guess it was Saturday. So anyway, guys, here's a shoe. So you see how it has like this pointier toe. It's super light. When I saw my friend check him out on very at very snatch, I think he's very dot snatch on um, on IG as well. I was like, this shoe is great because I've never seen it. I've I had never seen this shoe ever. So I got this one here, and then. Like. Look at that. I mean, this, and the sales associate was like, this is fashion, girl. She's like, this is, this is fashion. It's so much better. But I'm going to, I'm going to still keep the other ones too, because I just feel like the other one is a really good shoe. So I'm not going to take that one back. No, because then if I want it and then it's sold out, I'm going to regret it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to keep them all. And then the Oxford one. This was the shoe that I went back in there for on my way out. This was just like the Oxford shoe here. So again, it's just like the regular Oxford one. Very little branding, just like a little branding right here. Kind of like embossed where it says Prada. And it's a little bit here, but I mean, honestly, it's inconspicuous. I just love, it kind of gives me like the whole Stella McCartney vibes you remember that shoe that she did it was more of a a platform style it just kind of gives me those vibes but yeah so I got all three and I got them all in a size 38 and they fit fine 
they don't this one's actually a little bit big but I actually don't care because I plan on wearing like socks with them anyway I'd rather this be a little bit big of course you can always do inserts in them but it wasn't enough for me because I wore I tried them on with no socks on so actually I had like a little bit of a stocking on and I'm not gonna wear them like that I'm gonna wear like regular socks so I think they're gonna be fine because the, the last thing you want are, are loafers being too tight because then you won't ever wear them but that's what I got guys so let me know what you guys think about my haul. It was a ridiculous haul, but it was a good one. Y'all know y'all enjoyed it. Y'all definitely enjoyed it. But let me know which ones were your favorite. Let me know like what's on your shoe list because let me tell you something. That's it. I'm not buying any other shoes at all. I have bought my last pair of shoes um, for the year. Now, I do have other things coming in from like Zara. Um, I do have a Zara haul coming up. So, But that stuff's already been baked and it's just it's, it's taking a long time to ship. But anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week, and I will talk to you soon.